Thank you for those of you that got one on your bell right away. Please make sure you're sitting next to your partner. I started teaching for social political reasons. I really believe that um, true change occurs at this level and that the future of everything really depends on how well our students are educated. Next question. What is the purpose of the preamble? Jessica, can you define? Define? Sure. I'm looking for something a little more general than that. I try to be animated. I try to um, connect the information to something that's important to them. I try to see where they are and a lot of times I'll have an idea of what I want to do and I'll start doing it and you get pretty immediate feedback. And sometimes you can inch them along and they'll join you but other times you recognize I just got to change the course right now. We've got to do something different. Next question. Who can name one of the rights guaranteed by the amendment? She can teach stuff very well but she does it in a very creatively awesome way. Like she can explain it, she breaks it down and not just say the whole thing. She just breaks it down. You're going to come up with issues and we're going to call... She's taught me about the Donner Party and civics, the propaganda, the amendments and the articles. She is a magnificent actor and she's the best teacher in the world and that's from the heart. I think the big paydays are when you give them a test and it's hard and you know it's hard and you're correcting them and students are able to give the right answers. They have learned something. And it's so funny how whenever there's a test in front of me and I start correcting it, I always get the jitters. And it, I think that in some ways it, it shows me where I am, what I need to be doing differently, and how much they're getting. <laughs>
The fattest. The juiciest number. Okay. Oh, they're great. They're a great ener energizer as well. Sometimes I forget how old I am and how young they are. I feel like we can do a lot of the same things. Now I'd like to make sure you have 18 chips, 18 members. When I come to work, uh, my colleagues, they're all so very professional. There is a huge amount of education, uh, a lot of endorsements. So when I come to work, I feel very um, revitalized working with these people. It is a cooperative effort. It's not just one person teaching. And, and we bolster each other up, and we help each other out with different ideas and different ways of doing things. You're going to share with nine. Share with nine. I learned that uh, about division and multiplication and a lot of other stuff. Like the uh, continents and stuff. Like, what's it called again? Like South America and North America and Australia, Africa. And we do fun things like projects. But look at the problems. Look at the numbers. This says one half. This says two fourths. This says four eighths. Yeah, but they're all one half. They're all the same amount of stuff. Very good. Okay. I received a letter from a parent along with this grungy ruler. And this is a child I had in my fourth grade class eight years ago. And the child had a little trouble realizing how to turn his work in and getting his work turned in and uh, his mother was very frustrated with him. And apparently he borrowed my ruler. They returned the ruler and uh, show, telling me that she appreciated the lessons that he learned when he was in fourth grade. And she called it a reminder of the miracle that happened because he graduated in the top 10% of his class at Olympus High School last year. And that was great satisfaction for me. Because of the great teachers in the Granite School District, from here, anything's possible. And that's from the heart.